Hey everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am a special education teacher turned homeschool mom. I have two kids and I make videos about curriculum reviews and day-to-day -day homeschool. Today, I'm gonna give you a look inside faltering ownership from Brave Writer. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more, make sure you stay tuned. So I was given faltering ownership as an exchange for, for a review. This was such a blessing that us, I was able to receive this so I can share with you all uh, how we use it with our, you know, you know how I'm going to use it with my child and, and what a wonderful product this is. So I want to thank you so much, you know, Brave Writer for allowing me this opportunity. So faltering ownership is one of the writing products from Brave Writer. They have four different levels for writing projects for your child. You have for the little ones, jot it down, is where, where kids are, kind of, you are, um, the kids are di dictating what they want to say to you and jotting things down for him. Those are for, you know, for the kids that are more in the, in the, in the early years, you know, of elementary. You have partnership writing. Between kids between 9 to 11, and those are kids that still need to part you where you still need to partner with your child. And this is faltering ownership, which is between 11 to 12 year olds. And but I'm using this with, with, with my middle schoolers, which she is you know 13, almost 14. And then you have help for high school for the kids that are in the high school uh, years. So this is. Like I said, this is from Brave Writer. There are 12 in this one. There's 12 writing projects for you to work with your child. And one of the things, yes, this is, is it gives you a suggested level or age for your child to use this. But you have to look at your child, look at where they are developmentally in their writing, and just pick what's best for them. If you have a child that's in um, late elementary, but they're still in the jot it down stage, you go ahead and you do jot it down with them. That's This is one of the beauties of homeschooling, that you can tailor your, your, your curriculum, the education, to fit your child and to fit what's best for your child. So I'm doing faltering ownership with my 13-year-old, you know, and, and this is it's a suggested age for 11 to 12 years old, but she's, you know, developmentally, I think this is very appropriate for her. When, Kids that are in the faltering, you know, you know, ownership, you know, stage, and I got this from, you know, from the information from the curriculum. These are kids that still need a little bit of help in their writing, but they also want to do some of the work independently. They might be your child that some days they do not want to do any writing, and some days they just go with it and do amazing writing. They're using... At this stage, your child might be using the, their writing for their academics, for their, but they also can show a little bit of writing to, you know, they can also use writing to express you know, themselves. In faltering ownership, we're gonna, they're kind of introducing a little bit of that format of writing that your child will be doing when they're in high school and, and college, but there, it is more at their level. You're going to be doing a little bit of research and you're going to be doing producing many projects, okay? So you're going to be kind of introducing to that more, you know, rigorous work that they're going to be um, creating when they're in high school and they are, you know, and when they start um, college. Like I was mentioning early, you know, earlier, your kid, at this stage, might still need a little bit of support, but they also can work independently. One of the things that I love about this, you know, uh, faltering ownership is that the projects, they are fun for your child. They're gonna take, you know, you your child is gonna, they, they're gonna give them some an activity to do, but they can pick things that they're passionate about, the books that they like, uh, the historic, you know, um, historical, you know, characters that they like to work on this, um, project. They are not just, you know, um, telling the kid, okay, you're going to do this, this, and this, you're going to write about this. No, they give you a, an objective of the, of the project that you're going to do, but you, their child is going to use more what they're interested in. So this is one of the things that I love about Brave Writer. I also love that the, the assignments are, you know, separated by weeks. So for each project, you, it gives you a guideline to finish it in four weeks. It tells you week one, you can work on this. But you might have a child that might need two weeks to work in one week's work, and that's okay. Sometimes we 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 take two weeks to do one one week's work. Sometimes we do it in one week. So this is you know the beauty of of, of homeschooling. You can work if it's best fit best fit your child. 
Uh, I also love that this gives you and I you know share that you can all you can have your kid do a lot of in, in independently, but also you can hold their hand if they need to. So this is one of the wonderful things about about the about the projects in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to give you an in, in-depth look. It's easier if I turn the camera and I'll show you. So I'll show you what, what, you know, what, what the projects look like, the different projects that are in here and filtering ownership and how they are set, set up. And I have one of the uh, uh, projects that I'm working with my daughter at this moment. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you in the inside of the book it's a little bit easier if I show you from you know camera looking down so this is what the book looks like you you will get a, a like I mentioned a digital download and you can go and print this at home or have it printed out somewhere I printed it out in uh, black and white just to make it more economical but you can do it in color also if you want to I just did the first page in color so here at the beginning you will have the table of contents and it gives you different things that you are going to be um, you know, the, the first thing you're going to talk about the Brave Writer Principle, I'm um, sorry, the Faltering Ownership Principles, how the year-long program looks like. We're going to talk a little bit about language arts, your Brave Writer Lifestyle. So the beginning of each of this writing project, you know, curriculums that you purchase is going to give you ideas of how to use the Brave Writer Lifestyle with your children that are at this specific um, stage. Okay, talk a little bit about oral language and then you have the projects. As you can see, uh, this is supposed to be gone through the whole year. I've been going really slow through this. We're only on working on on the second project right now. We did some online classes and we worked on some other projects. So right now for this, we're just working on month two. But you can work faster and you can take two years to work it all. You know, with your, it's your homeschool. So different projects. We have 10 projects and two bonus projects. So I'm going to show you. So here you have an introduction to faltering ownership. Okay. You're, we're going to be talking about the faltering ownership principles, the different principles. Then how you can complete, this is that like the year-long program. How would you complete the year-long program? So let's give you here, it's kind of a guide. You do oral language with your children. And the last thing will be your writing projects. And it gives you here ideas of how or how language arts works. Good brave writer, different things. We're gonna be doing copy work, okay? We look at dictation, so it gives you talks more about that in here. Scatter books, how you do grammar and punctuation. How to look at literature, reading comprehension, okay? How to do narration, teach your kids how to summarize. And in this part, like I, I mentioned, it gives you the Brave Writer Lifestyle. How can you implement the Brave Writer Lifestyle with your children that are on this stage, okay? So they go through here, and then after we go through all the Brave Writer Lifestyle, then we will go to the projects, okay? So I'm going to show you what a week, one of the... Um, projects will look like then I'll go back ahead and read you the different um, you know projects but at the beginning of each month so so the first project is wild words and we did this and actually my son was able to do some of it with us and it gives you kind of a calendar of how you can like each day what to do how do we implement everything brave writer into your week Monday you can work you know in your copy work for your arrow you know and work on the project next day on Tuesday you can do poetry and tea collect some words Keep working on the project, dictation, work on the on literary element, play, do work more or the project. The project is separated, it gives you the beginning, gives you a description of the project, what the objective is, what process are you going to take, and what the project actually entails. What are the kind of things that you might need. This is separated by week, so it tells you week one, what to do in week one. Okay. These different activities, what to do in week two, week three, and so forth. Okay, you can follow it week one, week two, week three. You might have a student, or things happen. It might take you two weeks to do week one. It might take you a home a whole. It might take you two months to do one project that you know this says four weeks to do. It's okay. The beauty of homeschooling is you can adapt everything to your children. Okay. 
So this is where all the projects, and at the beginning of each week, I'm sorry, of each project, you will have this is the dust jacket book review. Uh, we're working on this one right now. Uh, where we're, This is the, the calendar or the schedule of activities to do. So this, I'm going to show you really quick what we're doing. We are working on a dust jacket for our book. And um, week one, we're supposed to do the cover. We did the cover. She, you know, she traced it. It said you can trace it. You can do however you want to. So, you know, she traced it and she colored it. And then week two, we did the uh, the reviews in the back. And she did a, a review. And look at that. She wrote Julie's name in the back. As well, the person that reviewed the book. <laughs> it was really cute. And um, and then here she will do the summary. And then the she's going to do an author um, bio here. So each week we're working on something different. So this is a really cute project. We're not as ahead as I wanted to be on this. I wanted to go ahead and review it. So um, so this is, so you have your 10 projects in here. I'm going to go ahead and read you. I forgot to, and all the projects are set up the same way, four weeks, and gives you what to do each week. I'm going to read you really quick. I think I went too fast. I'll show you the different type of projects that are in here. The first one is Wild Words, where you just work with words and do a fun way to make poems. My daughter wrote a cute little poem with the words that she collected. Dust Jacket Book Review, I'm working on. Mini Report, a Natural Disaster, Diary of a Historical Person, End of Year Family Letter. So I think we're going to do this probably in May. Probably do this, you know, one year one, and then next school year we'll do the next part. Uh, party School Report, All Report, Party School, How to Do an Advertisement, Another Party School Report. Literary elements, party school report, drafting and completing the report, and then we have to bonus project the art of fiction and poetry and play. And at the end here, uh, it gives you a just say and just to give you ideas of things that you can do with your children, just kind of to reward them after they're done with the completion of the book. And then what's next? What can you do next after you're done with this? So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you post them below. And also, I'm going to put a link where you can find all these pro wonderful products from Brave Writer. If you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, make sure you do so for more homeschooling motivation and inspiration. I will see you all soon. Bye.